people, welcome to another edition of that Pinky Tapping Frenzy that we all know and love as WWE Supercard. With me, Big Jim, here at Bad Lad Dad HQ. And it's a tasty Tuesday here in London. It's been a very sunny London, very sunny over the weekend, and that weather's continued, and long may it continue, because we don't get too much of that here in the UK. And it's two Royal to Glory, it's what we're marching on right now, but before I do any of that kind of thing, some Team Battleground rewards to collect. Another Team Battleground win for Team Battle Lad Dad. Uh, some of the team, uh, like Pod for example, has not had a single WrestleMania 34 card in 10 attempts at opening a TBG pack. I've been fairly fortunate, I've picked up two or three. Ninja Boy has picked up uh, yet another one. Uh, I can't quite remember who's got now, but he's, he's, got, another, he's got himself another WrestleMania card uh, over this weekend. Uh, but I've waited to collect mine, save it with you guys, um, so we'll do that shortly. But just to tidy up some business, because I've not spoken to you for a few days about Supercard. The old Ring Dummy Dim Dom, um, I did my five card trick, Ring Dummy Dim Dom, and worked my way through to uh, Dolph Ziggler, because Dolph uh, will give me a pro. So, as you can see, I've got Dolphy Boy there to do, just working on him uh, at present. And uh, not too far away there, as you can see, so he'll be proed up shortly. And also I managed to pro the Jimmy Uso uh, that I had. So in general, things are looking quite good. Uh, not too bad. It has to be said, Jimmy Uso hasn't played any matches yet. But you can see how bad all my other non-event uh, WrestleMania pros were. Uh, Big Carl, even bigger Luke, and uh, the Big Boss Man. Shane and uh, O'Mac, um, who are paled into insignificance, haven't played all their games, they're fully powered up and charged up and everything, and Jimmy Uso has just leapt in straight in number one, the non-event cards, so uh, I've got a feeling Dolphy Zig's not going to uh, topple him off that perch, but we shall see, see how we get on with Dolphy Zig, and uh, also, just with some other business, Chambre de Limination, have I got, no, not from here actually, it's from the um, the Daily Ticket Store, let's just have a bit of nonsense, a bit of fun and nonsense with this, just get this over with, the Daily Torture, well it's not quite daily is it, every two and a half days, yes there we go, it's nonsense, it's rubbish, take her, okay, yes, which we've had before, so it's not even something new for the catalogue, um, I'm not going to bother with the 10 pack, not worth it with the 10 pack, right enough, blethering, uh, very quickly just to say, I appreciate you all want to join Team Bad Lad Dad, and I'm sure that that's yet more messages saying, can they please join Team Bad Lad Dad? And just about all of these messages are, please can we join Team Bad Lad Dad? And I'm afraid the message is the same, which is we have a regular team of nine players, and it's a deliberate tactical choice while we're playing with nine players, uh, which is serving us in good stead. And we're not, we're not going to kick off that path for the time being. If there is ever a place available on Team Bad Lad Dad, you will hear about it on Twitter and via the medium of YouTube. And I will let you know, and then there will be a chance for someone to join. But until then, until I actually say there's a chance to join, please, it's just not worth it. I can't, I'm answering 20, 30 messages a day just saying, like, I'm sorry, there's no, no room at the end. So uh, I'm just saying that again publicly so you guys know. So here we go. Um, on the note of a nine-man team, and again, a comfortable win against a super friend. I'll be your super friend. Um, they were super friendly because they just turned over and let us win. So here we go. Right, what do you reckon? Am I going to get a WrestleMania 34? I have been very lucky on this front, I have to say. So if I don't get one, I can't complain too much. And as I've mentioned, there are people on Team Bad Lad Dad who've not even been blessed with one. And there are some who've got pros for breakfast. They just seem to be dropping out of the sky for them. Right, here we go. Come on. Come on. It's two monsters, isn't it? Two monsters lurking down there. Right, Goldust I've had, Kofi Kingston I've had, and Lana I've had. And that takes me up to nearly 63,000 battle points, which until they do anything about these uh, oh, block players, until they do anything about the rewards, um, it's just not worth spending those at the moment. Let's have a look. See, look, um, let's go to the CP store, that would help. 17 grand for a Titan single, 45 grand for a monster pair. It's a monster pair! What a monster pair that is! Um, and that's no good. That's no, none of that's any good, is it? I just like my team battleground rewards I've just collected. No good. Utter rubbish. Garbage. All right, team uh, 
Ring Dummy Din. No, Team Road to Glory, not Team Ring Dummy Din. Team Road to Glory. Uh, oh, just tidying up uh, what I was saying about uh, Ring Dom. I worked my way through to uh, Dolph Ziggler on the heroic mode. It wasn't worth going for the heroic enhancement on uh, Jeff Hardy because, as you may remember, it was a road to failure the weekend before when I missed out by about 20 odd points. So, totally my own fault. Hands up, totally my own fault. So, uh, there's nothing I could do about that. Now, let's just have a look and see how we're doing um, with this. Joey, uh, marching ahead, 435. I've chipped in 350 so far. Matt's on 300. Zim's uh, there with 170, as is Josh. Back is still uh, plugging away with 170. Stephen on 150. Uh, Ninja on 105 and Pod, who's at work right now, I know that for a fact. So that 20 will soon mushroom into something bigger. I say that because he's a chef. It will mushroom into something bigger later on. Uh, right, so let's get cracking with a couple of matches and uh, a bit of a chat. This was the weekend, of course, of Backlash, which was very quickly on the hot of the heels of the Greatest Royal Rumble, which itself was very quickly hot on the heels of things such as WrestleMania. There's an awful lot going on in the last few weeks. We're not on that look. And um, I have to say, I slept through most of it when it was on live. So then I sat down to watch it with Ninja. And I slept through most of it while I was sat with Ninja. It just... Uh, we tried to make our preview to uh, Backlash as uh, lively and interesting as possible. But we were kind of jaded before it even started, thinking um, a lot of it uh, had, well, had a lot to live up to. Yeah. See, I can't even say it. it had so much to live up to. It had a lot to live up to after the Greatest Royal Rumble. And it uh, palpably failed, I think, is a fair assessment. It wasn't a good, uh, wasn't a good show at all. And... I'm not trying to Roman Reigns bash too much, and there's plenty of people who are happy to do that, but what I don't understand is when you've got a title match, such as AJ Styles against Shinsuke Nakamura, which should be headlining, and Roman Reigns, who's headlined the last 69 WrestleManias, uh, Roman Reigns is headlining again in a match with Samoa Joe that was just a match. It was just a match. It wasn't anything special. And it didn't play out as anything special, and it didn't do anything special for the crowd. Don't understand that. I just don't. Why is he topping the bill yet again? Call me a traditionalist. Call me a bluff traditionalist. But if you've got a title fight for the main WWE World title going on, that should be the headline event. That should be top of the bill. That should be the thing that we're all there to see. Not. Roman Reigns, yet again. Stick him down the car by all means. There's a place for everybody. But not top of the bill again. And, um... There's only... I, well, I thought, ahead of this event, there's only so many times that um, WWE can do that before they realise that people have just had enough. But, uh, but no, they did it again. And especially... Hot on the heels of uh, Greatest Royal Rumble, which was in my opinion, and I know Ninja's opinion as well, by far and away um, the best pay-per-view we've had for some time, if not a very long time. Um, it, it needed to be something special, this show, or at least needed something to help it stand out, and it didn't have that. It just didn't have that at all. So, a bit of a disappointment, but we plough on, we move on. Uh, the one thing I am glad about is they have at least stopped the splits between Raw and SmackDown doing events because it was that was getting a bit tired in itself. Uh, and you know, knowing that you're only going to get half of the roster available for a uh, pay-per-view. And I don't know if that had an effect on, on viewing figures. Maybe people answered by keeping their money in their pockets and WWE realised there was a dwindling audience for the pay-per-views. I don't know, it'd be interesting to see some figures, wouldn't it? To see how many people have been... Uh, have been coughing up the dough since they had split SmackDown and Raw again. So uh, anyway, the important thing is they're back together, holding hands, back together, and that's a good thing. And you would have thought on that basis they could come up with something a bit better than they produced a backlash. But never mind. We'll allow them that one. We'll allow them that one simply because Great Raw Rumble was so good. Um, but I think I mentioned at the time with uh, with the Rumble... 
they've kind of made a rod for their own back because it is so close to WrestleMania and WrestleMania is obviously the flagship event and the Greatest Royal Rumble has got another nine years to go and that's um, having already secured funds for the next nine years so you would assume it will carry on after that and if it, uh, if it has the same level of um, quality about it, then that level of expectation is going to be there from us as fans over the next few years for it to be a damn fine show. And so close to WrestleMania, that's a lot to try and put together. With WrestleMania, they obviously have a year, and I know they're tweaking things right up until the final hour, let alone the final day, but there, there are certain storylines that they're working through that are due to culminate and uh, play out at WrestleMania, and they're, they're going to kind of need to keep something up their sleeve now for Greatest Royal Rumble, otherwise that's going to start falling flat too. So it's going to be interesting to see how year two of that goes. Um, won't it? I think it will. I think it will. On the Supercard front, I did get, um, I played on, on Team Event till about uh, 3 o'clock this morning, simply because I knew I was due a pull. Um, I don't keep a count, just got a rough idea of when it's due, and I did indeed pull Mr. Rusev. So, he's become my latest grab. I, I got one pull during the course of Ringdom, which through gaining five cards of Ringdom, event itself. It was a bit of a shame to just have one pull, but I got Kevin Owens, which isn't too bad a card. So I got him to work on too. And uh, naturally getting Dolphy uh, Zig has given me this pro to add to the collection. Already WrestleMania++, plus plus, but it's for things such as a Road to Glory. What I need with Road to Glory on the individual... Ah, blah. What I need with Road to Glory on the individual front is I need to boost this female deck. I need to boost my females. That's what's letting me down here. So I'm still WrestleMania Plus, even adding in uh, Jimmy Use. And I'm pretty sure that if I add in Dolph, Dolphy Zig as well, it's not going to push me up, uh, probably push me past the eye of WrestleMania. Uh, yeah, the important thing is these females. I've got to get myself uh, a female pro at WrestleMania. That is the target, is the plan. And actually, I've got some headway towards King of the Ring here. Come on. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? One nil up in my semi-final here. It looks like it's a close one. Against Luiz. Luiz. So there you go. It'll be interesting to see if I can get myself in the final and indeed get a win and indeed pull myself a single female. Because you all know I love a single female. So there we have it, people. Thanks ever so much for watching. You know the drill. If you like the video, bung a few likes down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and turn on the little notifications. Click on that bell. Click on that bell and that'll let you know when the videos are coming out. And there's all the usual social media. There's Instagram, there's Facebook, there's Twitter. Until I see you next time, what are you going to do? You stay a cool.